गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन विल सी द फिन्स ओके इन द कंडक्शन दिस विल बी द लास्ट पार्ट एंड आफ्टर दिस विल मूव ऑन टू द कन्वेक्शन पार्ट सो प्लीज लुक इन टू द फिन्स इन डिटेल विच आई एम टीचिंग यू राइट नाउ ओके इन द लास्ट क्लास क्विकली आई हैव टेकन द critical radius of insulation okay in short i have taken that because there will not be the most questions asked from that but you should read that okay so those who are not subscribed to the channel please hit the like button share with your friends and subscribe the channel now this is our 18th lecture of this heat transfer course and the today's topic is pins Uh, let me write the heading that is extended surfaces means it is a fins right extended extended surfaces that is it is called fins okay in short it is called fins extended surfaces see there are certain points okay you please note down about this the heat see the heat transfer we have seen what's the newton's law of cooling that is heat transfer from hot surface to the surrounding fluid takes place by the convection phenomena right so heat heat transfer heat transfer from a hot surface from a hot surface to the surrounding you know where this fins are used see in the ic engine on the surface of the cylinder this fins are used in order to increase the surface area and the heat transfer as surface area increases the heat transfer will increases right that place this uh, phenomena is used right it's not phenomena it's a fins you, you can watch this fins see suppose this is my circular right the cylinder on that you have might have seen right on the surfaces of okay in your ic engine these are the pins how it looks like right these are the pins okay this is called the pins because see the surface area here, here it is increasing right so initial surface area is only this much but after adding this pin right the conduction uh in order to increase the this convection conduction heat transfer so this pins are used here okay then the rate of heat transfer will increases with the help of that pin the air which is flowing through this right it will increases so the heat transfer from the hot surface to to the surrounding to the surrounding fluid takes place takes place by convection right by convection mode convection and is and this convection and convection and convection and is governed by and is governed by newton's law of cooling right newton's law of cooling okay means the q which is equal to that is h a right that is t s minus t of the fin right like this i can write okay as the q increases right so hot the area is increasing the surface area heat transfer also increases right so either by increasing convective surface Let's see the h is also here increases with adding the pin the a is also increases or by the temperature difference if you increase then the heat transfer will be increases in case of this okay so so there are three options you can increase the heat transfer right the first one is that is by heat transfer coefficient how will you increase this q okay the q dot e will increase by this by increasing this h right again the sep second is by decreasing this t infinity right means the surrounding temperature and by increasing the area also you will increase the heat transfer right you understood this
and see <coughs> See, it is not. Sometimes it is not possible to increase the value of heat heat uh, convective heat transfer coefficient, right? By increasing the velocity of the fluid surrounding to the hot, or to by increasing the difference by lowering the temperature of the fluid which is in contact with the hot surface, right? And so the pins, see, the pins are the extended surface are the extended surface. extended surfaces attached as i shown right attached to the wall to the wall to increase to increase the heat transfer right to increase the heat transfer so as i shown this is how the uh, the uh, okay <coughs> the heat transfer will increase because the area is increases right in that case so the heat transfer will be increases in this pins now we will see the application of this pins right the application application of the pins the first application see the cooling of the electronic components right cooling of in your computer you might have seen this cooling of electronic components electronic components cooling of electronic components right other the cooling of the motorcycle engines also the second application is cooling of cooling of motorcycle engines right motorcycle engines the third is in on the electric motors you all the times you have seen this electric electric motors the also in the some cases in the transformers also you have seen right transformers right etc these are the application of the pins right and there are different types of pins like straight pin uh, with uniform cross section straight pin with non uniform cross section right the annular fin pin pin there are many types of the pins are used right so <clears throat> now we will see the analysis of this pins now the next part just meet the analysis analysis of pins analysis of pins so first in the analysis part we have to derive the governing equation okay to find out the temperature variation and the second is see the same analysis in the heat transfer here also the pins are used for the heat transfer so the first is the our first objective is right derive derive the governing equation derive the governing equation uh, to find out to find out the temperature variation the temperature variation variation right and the second is find out the rate of heat transfer find out find out the rate of heat transfer right this is the second objective okay now see to analyze this we have to take the certain assumptions right so please take down that assumptions assumptions so the first assumption is that is one dimensional right the only x direction heat transfer we will take this x direction the second is steady state steady state heat transfer the third is uniform cross section right see there are very many various types of pins right so we will take the cross section as uniform cross section of pins also with the k we will take it is a constant right there is no internal internal heat generation and the four fifth thousand six thousand that is radiation 
रेडिएशन मोड ऑफ हीट ट्रांसफर रेडिएशन मोड ऑफ हीट ट्रांसफर इज निग्लिजिबल निग्लिजिबल राइट विथ टेकिंग दिस एजम्पन वील सी द ओके द हाउ द हीट ट्रांसफर टेक्स प्लेस इन केस ऑफ पिन दैट वील डिस्कस नाउ Now see, suppose this is my pin. Let me draw a pin. Right, the the pin looks like this. Right, so right, this is attached to the surface. Right, how the temperature variation will be? See, suppose this the temperature is max here. Okay, the, see this is. Exponentially varies like this, right? As this is a conduction, right? So we already seen this in the conduction. The this is the what the exponential variation means. This is at the base, right? The temperature at the base, and this is the temperature of the surrounding that is T infinity, right? And this is fin. Okay. So the way we have. At x is equal to zero, error, and this x at any distance x, right? Uh, and if see, suppose this is a cross section area of the fin, right? So here I will take a section one section. I will take. See, this is my x direction, so I have to take this section, right? So the area cross sectional area I have to take. Suppose this will be the my b. The width of the pin that is a b, and this, uh, this is a, this is I'll take a small dt thickness as this is the total thickness of the pin. Okay, and I will analyze with this. So, the k is here. First, k is the k is the thermal conductivity of the pin material, right? thermal conductivity thermal conductivity of fin material fin material and the ac is a cross sectional area right this is a cross sectional cross sectional area and the p is the perimeter perimeter as is a surface area as is a surface area surface area b is the width of the pin this is the width t is the thickness thickness right and l is the length of the pin length right <coughs> so see now at x is equal to 0 at x equal to 0 the t will be that is tv right we have seen this right t is equal to x is equal to 0 t will be the tv now i will write the energy balance equation energy balance Energy balance equation. So I can write that is Q dot x, which is equal to right Q dot x plus d x plus Q of convection, right? Convection to the means from the solid medium to the solid medium, right? So the Q x, right? From the Fourier's law, how we can write that is a Q. This is a Q x plus d Q x divided by. Sorry, it is a do. In x direction into dx plus c the heat transfer due to convection that is the rate of heat transfer into d a s surface area right and t minus t surrounding okay c this term and this term will get cancelled so the finally I will get the equation right so I will cancel this term and this term so I will get That is zero in the left hand side, which is equal to right dou of dou x. Hot the q x q dot x that is 
कंडक्शन इज ट्रांसफर विच इज माइनस के डी टी डो टी बाई डो एक्स राइट इन टू डी एक्स प्लस दिस हीट ट्रांसफर दैट इज एच इन टू डी एस टी माइनस टी इनफिनिटी ओके सी वेर डी एस इज द स्मॉल इलेमेंटल सर्विस एरिया विच वी हैव टेकन राइट एज इन द टॉप आई हैव शोन सो so here see from this i can write further i'll take i'll take one more step that is zero which is equal to minus k a ac right which is the cross section do t by do x square into dx plus h right d a s this is the surface area okay the convection term is related with the surface area and conduction is related with माइनस टी इनफिनिटी राइट लाइक दिस आई कैन राइट ओके सो द फाइनल आई विल गेट दैट इज के के एस सी दैट इज क्रॉस सेक्शन एरिया ओके आई कैन राइट दिस डी कैप दिस डी एल्सो राइट इन प्लेस ऑफ बिकॉज एट इज इज अ फुल इंटीग्रेशन इट्स नॉट पार्सल इंटीग्रेशन बिकॉज इट इज इन वन डायरेक्शन राइट एच what the area will be that is p into dx right the perimeter into dx and this is t minus t infinity which is equal to 0 so uh, i'll divide the whole equation by k by ac right so i'll get that is d2 d2 t by dx square right minus See here the dx and dx will get cancelled here, right? This dx and this dx will get cancelled. So d two t by dx square, yeah, perimeter divided by k a c, which is the cross section area t minus t infinity, which is equal to zero. Okay. So see this how this equation looks like as it is a temperature gradient. I can write this if by t minus T infinity which is equal to theta, right? And this h v divided by k a c. I will write it as a m square. So, so this this how I can write that is d two d two right theta x square d uh, x square right d two theta by d x square minus m square theta. This equation, which is a differential equation, I have to solve this differential equation now, right? This is the differential equation I got from this, right? So this the solution of this differential equation, right? You might have studied, right? This is the theta, right? Theta which is equal to it has a complementary function plus particular integral right the both term it has okay and see if a right uh, if the right hand side which is equal to zero right as it is a homogeneous function then it is a particular integral will be goes to zero so the only remaining is with the temperature difference that is cf that is a complementary function okay and it has two roots okay and the roots may be real or complementary so the You know that that C F I can write C that is a complementary function which is equal to the general solution I am writing here alpha one right x plus C two e raised to minus alpha two right x right this in C in the vibration equation also you have done like this right you might have known that so the so here this is my theta right which is a complementary function that is C F which is equal to that is C one Raise to alpha one x. See the alpha, the roots maybe this is my roots, right? The alpha one and alpha two. How I can find out for this? That is m, and it is the minus m here. Okay, so let me correct this. I will write down it as m also. Right. So this is m. M x plus c two raise to minus m x. Right, so my final equation that is t minus t infinity, which is equal to theta, which is equal to c one e raised to m x plus 
c2 e raised to minus cmx right this is my governing equation right i am now able to find this governing equation right this is the governing equation in case of fins right so <clears throat> this is a governing governing equations and see i have to solve this govern see now there are again bonding conditions in picture right so so let me take it up so the c1 and c2 are the constants here right c1 and c2 are constants okay so i have to use boundary conditions for this boundary boundary conditions right so in order to use the boundary condition right how there are types of the pins right the the pins the first may be the pin may be infinite long pin right infinitely long pin the second is that is short pin with insulated tip short pin with insulated with insulated tip okay and the third one is that is short pin without insulated tip short pin short pin without insulated insulated tube right so the first case from the first case we will take one bonding conditions let me change the color the yellow color is also good yes the c from the first that is the pin infinitely long pin see infinitely long pin means it doesn't matter it doesn't mean that the pin length is infinite if it reaches to the atmospheric temperature at that condition the length it will be we consider it as a infinitely long pin okay so, and in infinite long pins there are two cases that is x when x is equal to infinite right the t will be at t infinite okay here in this case theta is equal to 0 the second boundary condition we will get when x is equal to 0 t will be equal to tb right from this we will get the theta b is equal to that is tb minus t infinity right so what our governing equation is that is theta is equal to c1 e raised to mx minus uh, sorry plus c2 e raised to minus m x right here theta is the difference in the temperature right so at now i will put the bonding at x is equal to 0 uh, sorry x is equal to infinity the theta will put this equal to 0 right so see by using these two bonding conditions we will get now now i will put that bonding condition in this equation that is theta 0 right theta 0 which is equal to c1 e raised to m theta plus c2 e raised to minus m theta so from this i will get okay the, the c1 will be 0 from this boundary condition I will get and <clears throat> and from the second boundary condition at 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 x is equal to let me write first x at x is equal to 0 theta is equal to theta b this thing I will get so I will put it in my above equation that is theta b which is equal to c1 e raised to 0 right and plus c2 e raised to 0 here so from this i will get theta b uh, sorry theta b right which is equal to right c1 plus c2 so c1 is already calculated this is 0 right so the theta b which is equal to c2 right very simple analysis so so if I got theta b is 0 then I can write theta which is equal to theta b e raised to minus mx right so similarly I can write theta by theta b which is equal to e raised to minus mx what the theta 
by theta v that is the temperature variation that is t minus t infinity by t b minus t infinity right which is equal to e raised to minus m x right this is what the temperature variation we got okay let me take this square bracket and see the temperature varies here exponentially right so you can write the t also from this that is t is equal to t which is equal to that is t infinity plus t b minus t infinity right into e raised to minus m x okay now the you will get the t as a function of x okay see here as this x changes this t will changes like this how it varies exponentially means the variation is exponentially exponential variation of temperature with respect to x right you understood this analysis now the second part that is what the the second part of this is rate of heat transfer right the second objective is rate of rate of heat transfer transfer okay means finding q dot right this is what the rate of heat transfer so the q dot fin q dot fin which is equal to that is q conduction right q conduction at the c at conduction this is at x is equal to 0 right you have to find out this the conduction which is equal to minus k right Fourier's law k here the ac the cross sectional area right dt by dx right at x is equal to 0 so the minus k ac what this dt by dx that is tv minus t infinity right this will be the q dot fin right the rate of heat transfer the fin right earlier we have find the temperature variation right which is t is equal to t infinity plus tv minus t infinity into e raised to minus mx this thing we have find right so so this this equal to that is <coughs> see here the one term is missing here see this is not this dt by dx okay not equal to the, again the minus 1 m is also coming here okay this term i forgot here because this m what this m is m is equal to that is square root of right hp divided by k ac this is what the m right so the minus m this term okay this this term this is what this that is temperature difference into minus m you have to do here right so the q so i see the minus minus will get cancelled now i will get that is k k ac right tb minus t infinity into m so what now see what this term that is theta b this is theta b right so k is c theta b and into m i can write like this so the now we'll put the value of the m here so the something you will see if k is c theta b what the m is that is square root of h p divided by uh, h is here here it is a k is here right here it is not h it is a k here so it is a k ac cross sectional area right so finally i can write the q that is heat transfer by the fin right that is q dot fin which is equal to square root of h p k ac and and theta b this is the second objective 
okay which is the heat transfer right this is how the heat transfer will with the help of the pins will takes place right which is a function of this heat transfer coefficient convective right the k is that is a conduction and p is a perimeter area and the h is the cross section right okay you understood and all what the temperature difference okay this is my first objective the temperature difference that is t minus t minus t infinity divided by dv right the base temperature minus t infinity which is equal to e raised to minus emx right this is the second objective i think you guys understood this right the both okay this is the first objective and this is a second right means the temperature variation which is exponential and this q dot fin that is a rate of heat transfer through fin which is equal to rate of square root of h p k a c into theta b okay you understood i think everything is clear this is very uh, simple analysis right up till now we have done very critical analysis but compared to that this fin analysis is again very simple Okay, this is a see the pin analysis is just the example of that right we have seen the hollow cylinder a hollow cylinder uh, hollow sphere all these cases solid cylinder solid sphere plane wall the conduction heat transfer up till now we have completed okay with this we'll stop for the today's class we'll continue these classes thanks for watching uh, and being with me have a wonderful day please hit the like button share with your friends and subscribe the channel thanks bye